Chapter 3. Kai blinked, feeling the weight of the millions of eyes watching through his own. The chat was exploding, still buzzing about yesterday's events with Tasha, and the donations were flying in faster than he could keep up with. He took a deep breath, ready to address it. All right, let me get something straight, Kai started, his voice casual but laced with an edge. I keep seeing a lot of you bringing up what happened yesterday, but let's be real here. It wouldn't have gone down like that if Mia hadn't freaked out over the stream snipers at the park. He shifted slightly, leaning back in his chair. We were fine until she lost it. She made a scene, got all worked up, and yeah, we had to be rushed back to the car. The whole vibe changed, and everything felt off after that. That's what led to... Well, you know. Kai rubbed the back of his neck, pretending like he was processing the chaos. I wouldn't have done anything with Tasha if it hadn't been for all the stress Mia caused. If she hadn't blown up at the park, we wouldn't have been in this situation. So yeah, that's why things went down the way they did. He let out a breath, dismissing the guilt in his chest. Look, stop bringing it up. It's done, and we're moving forward. And don't worry about Mia. I'm telling her to stop reading the chat. You don't want her distracted by this stuff anyway. Let's keep the show going, all right? Kai had just finished addressing the chat when Mia walked into the room. To his surprise, she was smiling, acting like the argument from yesterday never happened. Good morning, she said, her voice light and cheerful. She moved to the kitchen, humming softly as she grabbed some breakfast. Kai blinked, trying to read her, but she seemed completely unbothered by the drama. Maybe it's better this way, he thought. She's letting it go. They sat down for breakfast together, chatting casually about nothing important. The air felt lighter, almost too normal after everything that had happened. Mia didn't seem to want to bring up the park incident, and Kai wasn't going to push it. After they finished eating, Mia stretched and smiled at him. Want to play some video games for a bit? I think we could both use the distraction. Yeah, sounds good, Kai replied, relieved that things were smooth for now. They played for about an hour, laughing and joking like nothing had happened. The audience was eating it up, dropping comments about how happy and normal they looked. But Kai couldn't shake the slight guilt gnawing at him, especially when Mia leaned in close, genuinely enjoying their time together. As they wrapped up the game, Mia looked over at him and said, I was thinking, maybe we should invite the friends over again. It was fun last time, and I think it really helped clear my mind. Kai's heart skipped a beat. She's talking about last night, the same night Tasha and I. He quickly shoved the thought away and forced a smile. Yeah, sure. Sounds like a good idea. Later that night, their friends showed up again, Tasha included. But this time, Kai made sure to keep his distance. He wasn't going to let anything happen again. As they sat around, laughing and sharing stories, Tasha didn't even look at him in that way. She kept it cool, and Kai found himself feeling strangely relieved. I'm glad she's not making it awkward, he thought to himself as they wrapped up the night. The viewers were still buzzing, but this time it was all about how much fun they were having together. No scandals, no drama, just good vibes. But when Kai woke up the next morning, that gnawing guilt was back stronger than ever. He needed to get it off his chest. He couldn't keep this secret any longer. As Mia poured herself a cup of coffee, Kai took a deep breath. Mia, he began slowly, I need to tell you something. She glanced over, curious but not concerned. What is it? Remember when you and Rachel went into the other room to talk the other night? Mia frowned, confused. No, we never went into the other room. Kai's heart skipped. What? No, you did. When we had Tasha and the others over, you went into the room with Rachel. I remember it. Mia shook her head, her frown deepening. Kai, we were all out here the whole time. We never went into any room. Kai's stomach dropped. He felt a cold sweat break out on his forehead as he realized something was very, very wrong. His eyes darted around the room, trying to make sense of the gnawing discomfort. There, on the bed, 
something caught his attention. A small, black case he didn't recognize. What the? Kai walked over slowly, his breath catching in his throat as he opened the case. Inside were sleek glasses and a pair of earbuds, both branded with the familiar logo from the company that had installed the cameras in their eyes. His pulse quickened. These were no ordinary glasses. He hesitated, glancing toward the door, then back at the mysterious items. The questions hit him all at once. Why were these hidden? Why didn't I know about them? He picked up the glasses, the weight of them unsettling in his hands. Slowly, almost cautiously, he slipped them on. Nothing changed. He could still see the room, clear as before. But something didn't feel right. Hey, chat, what's going on? He murmured aloud. Reaching for his phone, he scrolled through the comments, his heart racing. No feed! Black screen! We can't see? We hear you, but we can't see anything. His throat tightened as panic surged through him. What do you mean you can't see? He whispered to himself. He yanked the glasses off and suddenly the feed returned, filling his screen with comments and reactions. His mind raced, struggling to make sense of it all. Before he could fully process, he noticed something in the corner of his eye. Mia, standing in the doorway watching him, frozen in place. For a moment, neither of them moved, tension thick in the air. What is this? Kai asked, holding up the glasses. His voice trembled, but his eyes burned with accusation. Didn't answer right away. Her gaze flicking between the glasses and Kay's furious expression. Then, without a word, she darted to the closet, throwing it open and pulling out another pair of glasses and earbuds. She fumbled with them, as if her mind were racing to come up with an explanation, but it was too late. Kai was already connecting the dots. You knew about these? he asked, his voice low, simmering with betrayal. Mia looked at him, struggling to keep her voice steady. Kai, let me explain. No, you should have told me, Kai snapped, his anger surging. These glasses, these would have let me see without them watching, would have given me privacy, and you hid them from me? Why? Mia stepped forward, her expression pleading. Kai, I... was this all about the views? You hid this so I couldn't use them? So you could keep us live? Keep the story going, right? Kai, please, I did it for us. Mia's voice cracked, desperation seeping in as she held up her own pair. You don't understand, I thought... Kai's heart pounded in his chest. Don't tell me this was for us. You were controlling everything. You planned everything. Even that park incident with Tasha, didn't you? You let me fall into that trap. Let me cheat just for content. For views. Mia's eyes widened, but she didn't deny it. I... I didn't make you cheat. Kai's jaw clenched. But you set it up. You knew what would happen, didn't you? And you were fine with it as long as the views came in. This is what you wanted. Tears welled in Mia's eyes, but Kai couldn't stop. You played me, Mia. All of this, every second of this feed, it was about keeping them watching. And I thought you hated this life. But it was you all along. You wanted this more than me. Mia stepped back, her voice shaking. You don't know what it's like. The pressure to stay relevant, to keep people engaged. We had to do something. The everyday stuff wasn't enough. I just... Kai shook his head, his chest tightening. You didn't tell me because you wanted to keep me locked in this life. You wanted me to be as trapped as you. He shoved the glasses and earbuds into his pocket, not waiting for her to respond. With his mind spinning and betrayal coursing through his veins, he turned and bolted out the door, leaving Mia standing alone in the quiet apartment. The chat exploded with comments. What's happening? We can't hear anything. Did he turn off the feed? The screen flickered back to life as the audience, now viewing through Kai's eyes, watched him running, his breath heavy, words barely audible. She hid everything from me, all this time. The world outside his apartment felt just as suffocating. He ran, not knowing where to go or what to think, but he couldn't stop. Not now. The life he thought they shared was built on lies, and now he didn't know what was real anymore. Days passed without a word from Kai. 
the views dropped. Mia kept broadcasting alone, trying to salvage the situation, but it was clear the magic was gone. From millions of live viewers a day, the audience dwindled, barely holding at a million views a week. Mia sat on the couch, her eyes, the audience's window, blinking back at hundreds of thousands of viewers. The chat was going crazy, begging her to reconsider. She exhaled, her hands shaking slightly as she spoke. I've thought about this for a long time, Mia said softly, her voice trembling. You've all been with us for so long, but I can't keep this going. She paused, taking a deep breath, trying to hold back the emotions that swelled inside her. I've made some mistakes, and I've lost something important. The chat exploded with questions. Is this about Kai? Where is he? What happened? Mia's eyes glistened with tears, but she wiped them away quickly. I haven't heard from Kai, and that's part of the reason I'm done. I can't do this without him. She sniffed, holding herself together as the chat continued to flood in. I lied to him. I kept things from him. And now, he's gone. The words sent shockwaves through the chat. What do you mean you're done? No more streams? You can't quit? Hundreds of thousands of viewers were watching in real time, their disbelief spilling into frantic messages. How are you going to stop? Are you just going to wear the glasses and earbuds all day? Don't do this, Mia. But she kept her gaze steady. I'm going to get the implants removed, she said, her voice steady despite the storm of emotions behind it. It's a one-way decision. Once they're out, they're out. I won't be able to have them put back in. It's a hard decision, but it's one I have to make. More donations poured in, messages begging her to reconsider. Please don't do it. We love watching you, Mia. But she shook her head. I've made up my mind, she said softly. I have an appointment for next week. Thank you all for being with me on this journey. I'll miss you. On the day of her appointment, the live feed viewership skyrocketed back into the millions. People tuned in from all over the world to watch Mia's last moments with the implants. She looked at the camera one last time, her eyes filled with tears. I never thought it would end like this, she whispered, but it's been fun, everyone. Then, as she walked into the facility, the screen slowly faded to black. No sound. Just silence. A week later, Mia posted a picture on Instagram. No longer broadcasting live, she now shared moments like a regular person, static posts instead of live-streamed reality. The comments flooded in. We're not used to seeing you like this, Mia. You're just like the rest of us now. Her first YouTube update after the procedure was strange for her followers. She stood in front of a regular camera, holding it like anyone else. No live feed, no switching perspectives. It was just her. Hey everyone, she greeted, offering a small smile to the lens. I just wanted to give you all an update. As you can see, I went through with the procedure, the implants are out, and I'm back to, well, a regular life. It feels weird, not being the camera anymore. The comments were filled with nostalgia, confusion, and support. It's so different seeing you like this. Glad you're taking control of your life, Mia. But some couldn't help but notice what was missing. And no, she added, a hint of sadness in her voice. I still haven't heard from Kai. I don't know where he is or what he's doing. She paused, taking a deep breath. But I have to move on. Thank you, everyone, for being here. This is my last update for now. Bye. With those words, she ended the video. The next day, something unexpected happened. Millions of phones buzzed with a notification from the live feed app that Mia and Kai used to broadcast from. The app had been mostly abandoned, but a few loyal viewers still had it installed. The notification was simple, live now, Kai and Mia feed. Curious and surprised, thousands flocked to the app, wondering if Mia had changed her mind. As the stream opened, a familiar setting appeared on screen, the room where it all began. Then, they heard it, a voice they hadn't heard in months, one that sent chills through the chat. Hey chat, said Kai. The end.